And for someone who is in the medical field, aren't you concerned that, you know, we could be facing a crisis of, you know, a shortage of hands in the medical field as we, as we progress? No, I'm not concerned at all. I'm not worried. You're not? We have surplus. If you have surplus, you export. Yes. What is happening? It happened at one time. India, yeah. Indian teachers. I was taught biology and uh, came by Indian teachers in my secondary school days. They are surplus in their country. We have surplus in, in the medical profession here, I can tell you. It's my area. We have. This is we where we're have complaining eggheads. that we, we, we don't have enough doctors to man uh, rural areas. You know, there is not enough medical professionals. You say we have surplus? We have enough. We have more than enough. Quote me. So there is nothing wrong with all of the people coming to. No, nothing wrong. To come and. They go, they go out, they sharpen their skills, they earn money, and send them back home here. Yes, we have earnings from them. We have foreign exchange earnings, not from oil. The Indians were doing it. Ceylonese, uh, they taught me. Pakistanis, they taught me. Are you abreast of what is, uh, is currently happening in, in the medical sector? How? Um, uh, Honorable Minister. No, I am, I'm, I am, I am. I'm trying to see if I can get you that are, article now. This no, was written no, no. a couple articles. of weeks ago by a columnist. Uh, Those guys go there, they are trained, they are better trained because of the facilities they have there. Eventually, I know some of them who have come back home with those facilities and opened up centers here. I, I know of uh, my doctor in America, he has a facility in Nemo State now. Mm -hmm. He has about four facilities uh, in Maryland where he is, is, is practicing. And so you tell me that there's a brain drain. Yes! He has gone there. In fact, he left in the 80s, yes. We were medical school together. Mm -hmm. I know a, a couple of them. And they, 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 they are setting up centers back home here. And in their centers, they have CAT scan, they have MRI scan, they have other, other scan, which even the government hospitals cannot maintain. Nigeria is in very is, is, is in gross shortage of the number of doctors uh, for, for the populace. This is different from even the specialists. The specialists are even uh, not available as we needed them. And all this one has uh, all this one have shown in the in the statistics health statistics of this country. Nigeria has one of the worst uh, uh, maternal mortality rate, infant mortality rate, perinatal mortality rate. Our life expect average life expectancy is very low compared to even countries that are about the same uh, contemporary country like Nigeria. So, in nutshell, that statement it is not right. We don't have enough doctors. In fact, for us to have enough doctors to take care of all the populace in this country, if every medical school produces, uh, if the total number of medical schools in this country produces 2,000 doctors every year, it will take us another 15 years for us to be able to achieve that World Health Organization ratio of 1 to 500 uh, or 600 doctors. That is even if all of us decide to stay at home. So it is not right, it is false and it has shown in our health statistics. Unfortunately, I don't know where he has gotten that uh, view, but I guess he has left medical practice for a long time. And if you, have, if you want to look at what is happening, some of the countries that he's saying that we want to export to, for example, UK, they have an average of 2.8 doctors per 1,000. Nigeria has an average of 0.2 doctors per 1,000. So does it make any major logical reasoning for where we have 0.2 doctors per thousand to start saying we want to export to where we have 2.8 doctors per thousand?